Nothing's bad for you, bro. What up, man? Good, man. Instagramming or what? <laughs> Who are you ripping on today? Yeah. I'm gonna have to catch you one of these days, man. I still got the fucking stick and the and the books, man, for for you at home. So. I'll uh yeah, I'm always on about the build series, so. I'll, uh, I'll see your message and then whatever, if you're free and you're doing whatever, I'll just bring by, I'll put the books in the bag and I'll freaking... I take, uh, I live in uh, Queens, so I take the 7 and then I jump over to the N and I transfer over to uh, 8th Street. Uh, I was going to go check out Walgreens, check out some shit and then I'm going to go to Gerard Butler. <laughs> Not a fan. Yeah, I heard, I mean, I just getting like some weird ass reviews, so I don't know. I still want to see the Model 22, I haven't seen that yet. I don't know. Actually, I think it's coming out on uh, iTunes tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, I'll check it out, man. I mean, it looked good. I saw your boy Marky was around here, like, recently, about a month ago or whatever, when the movie came out and, it, you know, it comes around. I haven't seen him in a while, but, you know. He's funny, he's got that new shit coming out now. I saw the trailer for that, some comedy, like a family movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a sequel, I guess, to that, what was that? What was that yeah, cop movie? Yeah, want me to get stuff signed, I'll, uh, actually, I'm going down, I'm going to Boston. What you got coming out? Oh, all right, cool, cool. Cool. Yeah, you want to take anything? All right, yeah. I mean, you know, just basically like whatever people want, man. I mean, I get from my own collection, but if people ask me to get shit from like out of state, whatever, and they're like, yo, you know, this person, that person's coming in. So I got like my own little memorabilia company going on. Cool. You know, um, I never got it. I was never like a seller or anything like that back when I was doing it with you guys and the ranges and stuff. But like it's such a big thing now, and everybody out of the states, like, dude, you got access in New York to whoever. That's smart. I never thought of so I figure, you know, we're on top of my side job because I do subcontracting and all that stuff. It's a little, you know, on the yeah, side. Know yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, you know, we're seeing your girl Rhonda. She's with WWE now. You know, she's doing her thing. She was cool for like a long time, but once she got with Travis, she started like, I guess after the whole, uh, the two last fights that she lost or whatever, yeah. she got a little rough. I don't know if she was like, you know, affected by it, but when she was like at the top of her game, bro, she fucking sit outside the hotel and signed like 20, 30 things for everybody, you know what I mean? But she knew people were selling it, but like, you know, I, yeah. I think, yeah, I'm not even like, you know, I still watch wrestling, but like I follow her once in a while and I'm like, ah, she doesn't impress me, you know? Yeah, she's probably better off like, with, you know, Hollywood and all that stuff now, you know what I mean? I mean, Vince is paying, right, you know? Hell yeah, you know Vince takes care of all of them, man. Brock Lesnar, like that's why he keeps them around, and they sell tickets and everything, you know. Did you watch the fight? I watched the highlights because I was away, so I, I came back and I saw like, I I think, man, honestly, like your UFC career only has like a short span, you know. So once they figure you out, it's done, you know, like. Oh yeah, for sure. That guy is a, he's smart, man, you know? He's paid for life. He could just retire now and be done with it. The guy's asked for by Mayweather. The guy's asked for by Habib who fucking wrestles bears in Russia. You know? Crazy. Yo, good to see you, bro. I'll message you. I'll see your message. I'll just bring this shit with me one of these days or whatever. I'll let you know what's up. Good to see you, bro.